What's going on YouTube? Thank you for checking back in with another TDH upload. I hate to start the video off with a freaking apology, but you guys can see the trailer is behind me. She is finished out. She's all painted up and you guys didn't get to see that part. Well, for some freaking reason, I have awful luck with these SD cards. If you guys remember a couple uploads ago, I had a weird issue where my SD card and my DSLR started to act up and it would just stop recording in the middle of me filming. And for some reason, the micro SD that I have for my GoPro decided that she just wanted to pack her bags and head south. So all the files that, uh, or all the video clips that I had filmed of one, me and Danny painting the rest of this thing out, um, me running the stupid uh, lights and the wiring harness, and then lastly, me welding the decks on the top of it. And I do have a small snippet of Danny doing some painting and uh, me when I was just assembling my trailer and that was on my cell phone. So that's unfortunately only the only footage that I have. Now, I don't wanna run my mouth for too long. Let's uh, just dive in real quick. Let me show you guys everything about the trailer and the few things that I still wanna add and still need to do. And then we'll turn our attention to the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna throw in a couple clips. You'll see my girlfriend driving it. My dumbass didn't freaking film when she was doing the headliner, but the headliner's all in there and it looks fantastic. So let's talk about the trailer real quick and then we'll jump over there. Oh, I was zooming in too, man. You had me excited. You know, it's it's so satisfying to watch you do this. Alrighty, so we'll start off with the uh, wiring harness. You guys can see I've got a brand new harness on here, brand new looming. This guy's actually loomed all the way down the trailer, all the way towards the back. Both lights, I've got my turn signals here, running lights here. I've got the brake running and turns here, and then another turn signal there. I do want to put that little light bar that you guys saw in the last upload in this area, but I've got to cut this portion off. I'm not sure what they were using this for. It looks like they maybe had some chains in here and they were using it as a binder. But I'm going to cut this off, probably weld a plate on here, and put that little light bar, uh, that third brake light light bar right here. But that will come down at a later date. I just wanted to get this thing in paint and get it um, away from the shop and back at the house because I've missed uh, a lot of opportunities to make some money renting this thing or hauling some stuff with it. So I wanted to get, get her back in service. The other few things that I want to do is that winch that you guys saw in the last upload, I ended up returning that because it only had two mounting locations and I didn't really like that. It seemed sketchy and it was only for 2,500 pounds. So I'm probably going to buy a 5,000 pound winch, throw that there, put my fair lead up here somewhere. And then uh, I can just have a nice winch line running down uh, the trailer. So that way, if I need to winch anything up on the trailer or load anything, I can do that. I'm also going to buy a new jack and probably a spare tire and a spare tire mount. Um, that'll probably happen before the trip. Uh, I probably won't film that or anything, but overall guys, I'm very, very happy with the way that it came out and the way that it looks it actually, uh, transformed itself into a whole nother freaking trailer. You guys can see that I added the deck extension there. It's about a foot or so worth of, uh, room there where I can pull a vehicle up more up on the tongue. I don't really need to, but it's there if I have to, the, uh, car trailer hauls great when the uh, car is set back just a little bit in its original location, but I just wanted to do that just to have that. So there's the trailer, guys. I apologize again. I know it's kind of confusing and it seems silly, but yeah, that's my fault. I totally screwed up. Now we'll uh, move over here to the Jeep. We'll start with the headliner. Look at that. My girlfriend did a fantastic job. I am so freaking stoked. We're gonna wrap the, um, visors also but we still got to take them apart we just haven't gotten to that but she wanted to make this thing look a little bit more pretty in here so we have that and then we are now working on doing ball joints and uh unit bearings or hubs you guys can see i've already started taking this thing apart i've got the brake caliper off and i've actually removed one of the uh, bolts here for the hub got that guy coming out but i've done the passenger side <coughs> You guys can see fresh ball joints there and it's a little tough to see the hub but i promise the hub's in there ignore my ripped cv boot piece of crap 
But yep, there's a brand new hub in there. I'm gonna grab some new lug nuts, ignore that. But we are doing that on this side and hopefully my freaking GoPro won't screw me this time. I've got her charging over there in the toolbox. I'm gonna set her up and hopefully time lapse me pulling this thing apart and uh, we can just continue on rocking with the Jeep. Look at that rust, that shit is so gnarly. Look at that. Wonder if I should plate that. I don't know, let me know in the, the comments below. Let me know some opinions on it. I guess we'll find out when I start to wheel there, but I still got a lot to do. I gotta nip this off here. Still got a plate front and back, finish welding out here. So there's still a lot of work to be done on her. So uh, I'm gonna shut up now and we'll start uh, working. What'd you think of it? It was cool. The steering is a little crazy. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. So we got the ball joints in the hub. So hopefully that'll tighten it up. You look good in it. Oh, cheap things. As you guys saw, I had to uh, give the hub a few hits with the big old hammer, but we got her off one step closer. I'm gonna go and clean this surface up and I'm gonna clean inside here where the new hub's gonna be mounting because this is just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But now that we got those off, I've got to work to get these cotter pins out of the ball joints. And then uh, from there, I can pop these nuts off and pull these, uh, or well, pull the knuckle off and then press these freaking ball joints out. I wonder if they'll be as bad as the other ones. I don't know if I showed you guys. I don't think I did. I showed you the one ball joint, but. It definitely saw some better days. Fit and tell. It's for the hub. Thankfully, I have my x -ray over there and I robbed uh, one of the hub bolts off of that. And my boy Talon has some spare hub bolts, so he's gonna let me cop those from him for a few bucks and I'll throw them back on the XJ and keep this girl in service. While I'm down here, I also need to grab shock hardware because I forgot to grab one of those. I broke one of those when I was doing the lift kit. And then I'm probably going to pull the brake lines down, straighten out the hard line and uh, give myself some slack uh, with the soft brake line. So that way when I'm flexing and stuff, I don't pull on the brake lines. And uh, snap one or shear one, but okay, enough talking, back to work. Well, that was a, uh, a lot smoother than I thought it would be. I managed to get everything out without breaking them. I mean, the ball joints, yes, they're shot. I mean, they have seen better days. This one is not that bad, but, oh no, I lied to you, I lied. They're both, they're both terrible. These are awful, the hub is awful. Everything's off now. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my air compressor, grab my die grinder out, and uh, just clean up these areas, clean up everything around here where the new ball joints go, and then we'll prep to uh, throw those guys in there shouldn't take much ball joint press kicks ass press those guys in there and get this thing back together
Alrighty, as you guys saw me pressing in them ball joints, they are in place. I've got my nuts on the uh, lower sides. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these guys up, torque them to spec, and then start slapping this bad boy back together. I'm gonna have to run to the junkyard. I'm gonna grab myself a brake line for this caliper. If you guys look real close, that line is rotted out and it's actually capped right now. So I'm gonna run to the junkyard, grab another one of these lines and uh, I'll probably grab a couple lug nuts also just because they'll be dirt cheap at the yard and I won't have to pull any off the XJ over there, but we are making some progress. I'm gonna go ahead and torque these guys down, get everything secured, bolt this hub back up and we should be done. The hub is bolted on, everything is tightened down, torqued down and secured. We are ready to rumble here, guys. I just gotta get the uh, brake rotor and the caliper back on and we are all set. I also fixed my ABS line. I don't think it really matters because it'll probably just end up getting ripped off while I wheel, but we are on there and we are good to go. So I'm going to slap this sucker back together and then uh, I may take a trip up to the junkyard depending on if Florida wants to cooperate. Looks like it may rain today, so I don't know, but I need to get this brake line that comes off this master here and that runs over to my other uh, caliper because, yeah, that's a little sketchy and obviously I'd like to have all four functional brakes while I'm wheeling, so... That may be on the agenda today. If not, I'll let you guys know. I'll obviously just wrap up this video and close it out and uh, film another day. But let me get this guy back together and set her back down on all fours. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out what I want to do. Alrighty guys, so I got lucky enough and got her all bolted up and over here chilling right now. Flexing, doing her Jeep thing. But on a serious note, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything and try to uh, wait out this rain. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just checked the Doppler and it was saying that it's going to be 100% chance of rain at two o'clock. So I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up and then probably just wrap up this video and uh, start filming for my next upload. I'm trying to make these videos, you know, around 10, 13 minutes long. I don't wanna do anything longer because it gets to be a uh, headache trying to transfer all of that footage. Uh, onto my MacBook because for some reason I'm running out of space on it no matter how many times I clear it out but all right enough of the rambling I'll clean this stuff up and uh, I'll close out this video in just one minute so I was trying to film this outro before the uh, rain came down I got my tools put up in the uh, garage I parked the uh, ZJ in the driveway and then bam the bottom fell out it's been about an hour hour and a half or so I've actually been editing this video while I was inside and while the rain subsided I was like well let me go ahead and film this outro so a few things I want to talk about one I want to apologize again about my trailer I screwed up uh, with that footage the new SC car has been awesome I only had one file that gave me an issue I ended up transferring that or retransferring that back to my desktop and it actually worked uh, I can't get these freaking files off of my old SD card. I've tried and I've tried, I've tried and just no luck. So I apologize again uh, about that. And that kind of let me down because I was really hoping to show you guys the transformation of the trailer, but you guys can see it's all cleaned up. It's all pretty and blah, 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 blah. As far as the ZJ goes, we're gonna be taking her down to the shop. I have a few more things to do, like the front bumper here. I wanna go ahead and uh, weld up a small little stubby bumper. I picked up a 12,000 pound winch from Harbor Freight that's at the shop and uh, we will continue all of that stuff when we get down there. I also wanna do my rock sliders, finish capping those guys off, tying it into the chassis. And uh, honestly guys, it's welding the diff, getting a locker, painting my rack and getting some light bars. And yeah, we'll be set. We'll be ready to rock and roll. We'll be able to wheel. I probably should get a new track bar cause uh, I've got some nasty play in there. So I may grab me a, a stock one or an OEM one just to slap in there. Or I might even get a used one, I don't know. But I do, did want to bring you guys up to speed here and uh, close out this video uh, the proper way. And hopefully, hopefully we can get this thing uh, squared away in the next, well, the last few bits squared away in the next upload. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next upload. Take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your week. Later.